We're limiting our range with our weapon selection today here on Baranka Savannah. I've had a really fun time with videos like the biggest possible weapons, smallest possible weapons, and I really enjoy these loadout videos. So we've got the 470, the 50 cap block muzzleloader, the 45 cavalry, and the 12 gauge shotgun, in particular Granken shotgun. And it's probably the exact opposite loadout as you'd want on a wide open map. So I really enjoy seeing what challenges these things present and how we overcome them. And I'm looking forward to this one. And we could be in for it already. We've got a max estimate jackal track. Last time we found one of these, it was a monster diamond here on Vrunga Savannah. And I want to see, it's just now. He's got to be almost in sight. That's him there and he is a mythical. But up there at that range, there's just no making that shot. So... The good thing about Jackal, especially because we don't have to worry about making a perfect shot here, they do drop pretty slowly and I think we can probably get ourselves into position to make maybe a 75 meter trotting shot, but if this were a legendary, things are 10 times more difficult. And even still, about 90 meters is as close as we can get before he starts to trot along, so hopefully he'll slow down a little bit, that is going to be a tough shot. He's sort of broadside. We hit him. I thought for a second maybe we absolutely smoked him. It'll probably bring him down. Definitely not a lung shot. But considering this is not exactly the main thing we want to go after, I think it's good just to get him down. So not exactly a success on the first challenges loadout presents. And this gun pretty much is exclusively for Jackal in his particular loadout. We were close, just a little bit too low in 110 meters. That's pretty significant drop over that range. So not too surprised it ended up low. But good to kind of know that's what we're looking at. I don't know why this thing is here. Now, technically, we could go with the muzzleloader here. But if it's going to hop right to us, probably easier to go with no sights. And a little 34 scoring bronze black brown. <laughs> Absolutely hit everything there. Pretty impressive from the 45, actually. If we could have gotten, you know, a little higher on that shot on the jackal, seeing that... No doubt it punches through the lungs. Now with the round balls and the muzzle litter, our zeroing is kind of weird. We can zero for a minimum of 100 meters. So at 30, we kind of keep this pretty low on a max estimate spring buck and a little bit of a different situation than the jackal just a bit earlier. So curious to see how that goes, but that was a 73 scoring gold. One of our better ones, diamond is 78.55 and that amount of like aiming low put it right dead center in the middle of the lungs so good to know on that should we end up getting close like that again and i don't think that's the case for the other ammo actually evidently it is both zero 100 150 and 200 the round balls in particular used to zero i think 50 75 100 so that's gonna be a little something different but good to know we actually have a little more range and that might be kind of fun try to get a spring buck out there 200 meters with the round balls now that is a potential diamond wildebeest level 4 with the max weight estimate up to 38 score. And in normal circumstances, I'd probably go for a 400 meter shot. But because the whole point of this is to go with limited range, we're not even going to go with that 200 meter zero. I want to get to like 100 or less. We don't have color, so we'll have to kind of stock in. And hopefully the terrain is going to cooperate here. I think it will. And I think we're going to be just fine here. So we already have swapped. We've got the correct ammo, and I think we're just going to have to alert him, which is going to bring us even closer until he actually kind of gives us that broadside shot. He's attentive. Let's go a little closer, and of course we managed to get right behind some brush. We do know the power of this muzzleloader is absurd, so frontal angle should be no big deal. That's going down really fast. And there was a second herd of wildebeest back there behind him. I did spot through everything. I don't think there's any big ones in there. But nice to actually encounter a couple of them. He's getting pretty late on this server. I hate to change servers because rarely do we have a multiplayer hunt which would just join one server and don't have connection issues. And that has been the case thus far. But I don't think we want to hunt at night. Are we actually going to have connection issues as I said that? No sign of anyone leaving or joining, which sometimes will cause this. A little bit of lag in the server, but I would say we're kind of out of luck. I guess we're not going to know if that was a diamond four or not. Ooh, what the heck? A level 5 spring buck just came walking down here as the first thing he's 80 minimum. 
That is a guaranteed diamond Truax spring bug. There was, I don't even know where it is. I've been sitting here trying to find it. There was a level four that I was gonna try to get that 200 meter shot on. Don't worry about any 200 meter shots right now. We are gonna get close to this. I already forget exactly where he was. I think somewhere up in there. And let's hope we can claim things on this server because my goodness, that's a big one. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. That's a two. But the one that we're actually looking at in front of it, I believe that's the five. I don't hate the idea of kind of moving around here a little bit, just so we can spot it. But let's get this ready, because we're spooking some of them. That is definitely him. And before he moves, we're taking that. That looks actually really good. I've been generally disappointed with Springbok Truax thus far. I don't know that I've seen one this big. Like, it looked really, really nice. We know Diamond is 78.55 or something like that. This guy's 80 minimum. And as we do, claim tax before we worry about anything. 41.68 kilo and 82.96 score. That looks good. Like, I don't... The scaling on these things is absurd. You look at, like, a 78 scoring one. It's not close to this. And in theory, they get at least a little bit bigger than that still. I'm impressed. Shot that double lung about 69 meters. Pretty nice distance to shoot our first Diamond Truax Springbuck. With the Cavlog Muzzleloader, of all things. I think this is our third or fourth level 5 we've shot. Really nice hooks. Like, if this were kind of the small horns for Diamond, and then they could get just a touch bigger than this still... It would be perfect. It's just kind of odd how small the lower end ones are, but that is awesome. That is definitely going in the main lodge. I really wasn't sure. Like, you know, again, we've had a couple of 77s that are almost diamond, and the thought process was, like, if we get a 78 that makes diamond, I don't know that it's worth replacing the old legacy horn diamonds. That, I think, definitely is. You have to be kidding me. What is going on? The most clutch server disconnect of all time. There's a crowned wildebeest up there. And I mean, we literally just tried to take a wildebeest with the muzzleloader. Had the disconnect and couldn't claim it. So the perfect opportunity to try and go and get that. Now, I think again, we should try to get at least to 100 meters. The wind isn't nearly as good this time. But we'll definitely try to take that. They just look so nice. Oh, and I think maybe the problem, we spooked that level 4 that was closer. They're actually going to be on the move, so maybe we 0 4 150 wouldn't be a bad idea to actually load the correct ammo after shooting that spring buck. And we can try to get that, but we have to sort of do this properly. Move around, keep them attentive enough that they don't just go running into the brush. But not so much that they end up just fleeing before we can get a shot, because I see that gold one moving around. I don't know how we just halfway got prone there for a second. Heavy projectiles, so a slightly longer lead is going to drop that in its tracks. Limited range, no problem so far. And we only get maybe one or two of these a year, if that. But every single time we do, and heart shot, by the way, from the Caplock muzzle there at 139 meters, fairly hard shot, but hard shot. And now that this is kind of fading away with the chat, silver rating, obviously, I don't think you can get gold female wildebeest, but just, I really wish they could make these male. I don't know why they're female only, they look incredible. A diamond crown wildebeest would be amazing. And unfortunately right now, silver crown is as good as it gets. I just heard one of the main things we're actually here for, however, getting a crown wildebeest and a diamond Truex spring buck, especially the size that we did, probably is using up most of our call the wild luck for the day. But if we could get a diamond widgeon while we're here, I mean, I wanted to make sure we had a shotgun for a reason. That's what it's for. And finally, the weapon that actually inspired this entire hunt, we've got the 470 here for Lions and Cape Buffalo, and I'm hoping we can spot this. I don't think we quite can. So this will be interesting, but when he's standing up, oh, he actually went alert there, I think. That probably helps us. Gonna try to dip that down into the shoulder, and hopefully it punched through a lung. He was out of there so fast. I think that, is that him? That is him, and it looks like we got him. There's so many lions around this lake. I thought another one dipped into there, but... Finally, a 470 kill. I'm not sure how far we in, we are into this video. I certainly did not expect to have a diamond and a rare already. But it's worked out quite well for us. And obviously, at some point, 
We'll have to take a couple of Kate Buffalo with it as well, but our first line with the 470 today, a 47 scoring mythical, double long at 107 meters, that actually hit, I feel like right about where we aimed. I'm not sure if it's been flukes or what, but in the past when shooting around 100 meters, I've felt like the shots are often way off, but maybe it wasn't a matter of it dropping low. Got a female standing there. She's in that fleeing state, but she's probably just going to stop there. If she does stop, which maybe she's not actually going to, I'd like to try that 100 meter thing out again, but I guess not here. Now we can zero all the way out to 150, and maybe that's actually worth a test. So can I wait till he stands up? Actually, that's a pretty clear sight picture when he does. See if we can drop this right in. Gonna be close, may have been a touch right. The good thing is he's just gonna stand there, albeit behind that female, and that got him. Not bad, and kind of like the muzzleloader, I want to say, the zeroing on this has changed. I thought you could only zero out to 100 meters with it. I could be incorrect on that, but I know for sure, 100 meters plus with this never felt very consistent. But a little bonus line as we pass through here, 151 meter shot, double on him as well. Just kind of high in the left of the heart. It's not as far right as I thought the shot was, but it's tough to tell with the red dot at that range. Pretty good deal though. I think the 470's got a little more kind of capability than I thought. You know, the last time we did a hunt like this on Verhunga, we kind of struggled to use our class one weapon until the very end we shot like a couple of scrub here. So just in the interest of actually getting a used Grankin shotgun there, little level two male rabbit, gonna be actually a gold. We'll take that, 4.18. Obviously the females are the ones that get bigger, so kind of uncommon to have that happen, but better than, like I said, the, the last time we shot a couple of silvers and called it good. Well, the one way I didn't want to try to get a Cape Buffalo was aggression. Now, not too bad. First shot, definitely through the lungs. Second shot may have been intestines. Now we got double lung liver stomach still at that angle. So 135 scoring gold. There's actually double lung liver the first time. But 100% quick kill on that, no doubt. And I was hoping to maybe find a couple of here. Did that thing just... It looked like it was sitting on top of these trees. I wanted to get one a little further away than that, but at least we got to see the close range. This is a little more like what I wanted to see. We're around 100 meters out. There's actually a number of them in here, but at the moment, none of the males are actually giving us a decent shot, so gotta be careful with this because if we get too close and alert him, he's actually kind of turning broadside there. Alert, they're just gonna face us? Let's try that. Keep that just back from the crease, and he actually is going aggressive, so should that shot have not found the mark, we should still be able to get him. I think there's two aggressive, though. Because that other one is running kind of with him. Let's actually see if we can get him spotted. Did we get along? We did. So let's leave him alone. He's going to drop anyway. And is this other one coming up here? It is. A little back on the first shot. Second shot. Absolutely smoked it. Where do we hit? Double lung liver and something else there too? Or maybe not, but there's a comma there. I guess, it, no, it did get the stomach. And then the first shot was lung and stomach somehow. Just like skimmed across the very edge of the lung. Not too bad. For a long time, I felt that the 470 just really wasn't at all worth it. And I would still probably say the 300 is a better option, but it sure does seem better here today. We got a gold there. I think we got another one charged. 113 meters, it was a lung shot. Just gonna go ahead and take care of that. I almost thought I heard one more coming this way. I thought I could hear footsteps. I guess not, but that quick back-to-back -back shots. First one, we've been too far back most times, but still getting those massive lungs. And then second shot, double lung again, and still coming out to far side leg. That is impressive. It actually, like for the first time, it actually feels like the 100 penetration set of the Full Metal Jacket 470 rounds is showing up when we shoot these K-Buffalo. And frankly, I don't even know the last time we fired the thing. I don't know when this could have changed, maybe with the Emerald Coast update. Because I feel like prior to that, you just didn't get those results. And perhaps the award for the 
weirdest encounter. Just a defensive Cape Buffalo standing here? No problems with accuracy at 50 meters. And I think that'll probably be our last kill. I do want to go back to the Trophy Lodge. I definitely want to see that True Rax Diamond Springbuck next to an old Legacy uh, Horn Springbuck. And then obviously our Crowd Wildebeest will go in the second lodge somewhere. What the heck? Brain and Heart? <laughs> that might be the first time I've done that on any animal in this game. And you could really only do it, I guess, with the 470, maybe like the crossbow? And in theory, the 454, but I gotta be honest, I haven't seen the 454 look like that. That's pretty good, but let's jump back to the trophy lodge. Let's place our Springbuck. Now we're gonna keep the big one here in the end, but I actually wanna compare it to the smaller one just because we know they're not as big as the Legacy Horn. So it was March 22nd, 2021. We need that for when we swap this back. There is our Diamond Truax one, and it's definitely still smaller, but it's a considerable upgrade over everything else we've seen. Still though, like the old Small Horns Diamonds were considerably bigger. So like I was saying, if this was basically the Small Diamond Horns and they got even bigger, like at least to here, I think that'd actually be in good shape, but we're going to take this one down. We'll put the big one that we had there back. And for a fair comparison, there is not much of one there. It is still so much bigger. And I feel like that's actually a good example of a really big spring bug in real life. So I definitely think, you know, this is far better than even I thought they were going to be. And like I said, in theory, they should get a little bit bigger than that, but definitely still need a little bit of scaling up, at least in my opinion, to really be on par with the legacies, but that was a lot of fun. One of those hunts where a unique loadout lead, leads to something pretty darn cool, gotta wonder too, like if we weren't sneaking up on that level 4, does the level 5 walk out, or do we shoot the 4 from 300 meters like we typically would, spook the 5 and never know it even existed? It may have been the case that having the muzzleloader there actually is the reason we ever even spotted that 5, but Lots of fun there. I've been having so much fun with these loadout videos, and there will definitely be more to come as we continue along. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.